smiled and rubbed the stubble on his chin. His shoes showed signs of weariness and dreariness of life that's growing thin. Yet he didn't have so very far to go. With a pencil in his hand, he would travel on his plan. Where the mist up in the mountain threw a light. Praise Finton. So very busy, and there's nothing on his mind, and his wavy hair continues not to grow. Craze Finton. desperately lost in the 70s at the moment. Let's uh, snap out of this, shall we, and get up to something a little bit more modern. That was Johnny Young and Craze Finton Kirk. I think they had something to do with the Bee Gees. Need to kind of check up on that uh, at some stage just to satisfy my inherent curiosity. Anyway, huge thanks to Paul Dover for tracking down Phil Welton and huge thanks to Phil Welton for giving us what is pretty much an exclusive, really, because uh, Fat Grapple's Happy in the Lord, I don't think you're going to hear anywhere else than on A World of Difference, and uh, terrific it was too. Great, great stuff. Right, now, let's get into the second hour properly at around about four minutes past eight. Studio at trentsound.com if you'd like to get in touch. If you'd like to tell me what a load of nonsense this is and I should pull myself together, you can do that. But it might be more positive to suggest artists we should be playing and tracks we should be featuring here um, as, as we kind of plough our little furrow here on a Monday night. Studio at trentsound.com. Right, as promised, we're not far away from the interview with Two Coats Colder, and they have a terrific knack of identifying good songs to sing and writing some of them themselves. And Ray from Two Coats Colder is in the backing band for Marina Florence. So what we'll do first, let's have a listen to Marina Florence, and this is certainly in the running for the best of the year show as we get towards the end of 2014. So I'll listen to Marina Florence first and her terrific song. Really like this. This is a this is a song which really she really understands kind of human emotions, human relationships and so on and so forth. This is Marina Florence and Getting Away. Lately I've seen a change in you and a little change in me. We're habitually entwined In day-to-day activity And I passed you in the hallway and Once again on the stairs And I was taken aback When you didn't even notice I was there Lately we've been running around Life's most demanding ways And if we had the time to speak don't think we'd know what to say So wrapped up in the trivial things We didn't read the signs Though the cracks were there for all to see We pretended we were fine So I'm getting away from all It'll be bliss Cause I 
song from a very fine singer-songwriter Marina Florence and Getting Away. Two Coats Colder have been a bit of a favourite of mine since I first heard the song that we're going to hear in a bit and it was a delight to meet them at the Maura Furnace Folk Festival. I had They were one of the acts I was targeting for a bit of a nasher so I imagined my delight when I pulled up my little van onto the site and there right next to me were the unmistakable leonine features of Ray Taylor of Two Coats Colder. Uh, and later met the rest of the band and of course Anna Bass who as we'll discover has an absolutely terrific voice if you're not familiar with the work of Two Cuts Colder I think you're going to like what you're going to hear in a bit so what we'll do is play She Said first and then it'll be straight into the interview with Two Cuts Colder Thank you. 
brought the rain clouds from the sky and hung them out to dry. She said, Breathe the air that felt so still and made me feel so real. She said, Better than you Better than all the things We wish that we could do Better than you Better than me Better than all the things We wish that we could be You say I'm at the Moira Furnace Folk Festival in the company of Ray and Anna from Two Coats Colder. They played a terrific set last night. I thought you were a duo, but in fact you're a four-piece, aren't you? Or you were last night. Yes, we're normally a four-piece. We started out as a duo originally. It was just Ray and myself, but uh, we added Chris on bass um, probably a couple of years ago, and yeah. then shortly after that, David on mandolin. And now we try and do everything as a four piece if we can. We occasionally do a duo spot, but only if we have to, really. And you know, so we like going out. It's, we've got a fuller sound. Um, yeah. Feels We're sort of topped and better. tailed by, by the, the bass and the mandolin. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and that works very well. It does give you a very full sound, that's for sure. Now, one of the songs you sang last night, and everybody joined in, even though probably most of them haven't heard it before, uh, was the one about the grey whale. That was a terrific song, but you said in your introduction to that you, you spent some time studying whales. How did that come about? Um, it was sort of coincidental, actually. I was living in California, and how I got there is another series of coincidences. I mean, life is sometimes like that, isn't it? But the job that I was that I was in when I lived in California, I thought was going to be ending. As it turned out, it didn't. But while I was thinking about what else I might do, somebody said, um, you should go to university in Canada and do a, another, uh, another degree, an advanced degree, because there's lots of funding up there for environmental stuff. And it turned, that turned out to not be true at all, as far as I could tell, but it started me thinking about universities in Canada, and I ended up at the University of Victoria um, doing an advanced degree in the geography department and studying <laughs> the behaviour of grey whales. <laughs> Victoria's a lovely city, isn't it? It's beautiful. Abs I mean, what can you say about a city that has four orchestras? <laughs> <laughs> and a cricket pitch. <laughs> yes, and probably a polo ground. They're, they're, they're very conscious of their British roots there in that British part of Canada. Sports. We're based um, in an area called Clackwood Sound, which is spelled Clayoquot Sound, if you see it written down, but pronounced Clackwood. And we, we, were, st we were lucky enough to, to have a base in... Um, uh, First Nations village and so we heard a lot about their history with the whales and um, subsistence whaling and their feelings about the fact that when the, the white people came in with their automated exploding harpoons um, they were the ones who fished the whales out to the point of near extinction which meant that now the First Nations people who were there first and doing it sustainably are no longer allowed to do it um, which does seem a bit unfair.
Cold has been in existence for three or four years, four I think. Four years, I suppose, so not long really. Mm. 
given given our ages, we <laughs> we, we like to joke that we're the oldest new band on the circuit. <laughs> 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 and uh, I've got to ask, you've been asked this before, why two coats cold? Uh, it's, it's an expression that um, someone said to Ray on the North Norfolk coast. We like to spend time on the North Norfolk coast uh, where, where we have a caravan. Uh, but there's various reasons why we can't be there in the winter. And we would like to be there in the winter because we both like winter. Yeah. Um, but one of the locals said we wouldn't want to be there in the winter. It's two coats colder than anywhere else. And we thought that that had a certain poetry to it. That's a great little expression. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yes. <laughs> you've got an ear for a good song. You, go, you write your own songs, so you've got an ear for a good song from elsewhere. And there's one that kind of riffs on the uh, the drunken sailor. What should we do with a drunken sailor? Mm. And yes. that got people going last night. Yes. The, the nice little twist on the other line of that song. Where did you find that song? Uh, well, that's that's a friend. Well, actually, a friend of Anna's, I suppose. I, I know um, I know him through Anna. And um, we've heard him sing this song many a time. And it was such a great song. And sometimes we're looking for songs that will pull the audience in and get them singing. And you know that once, once somebody hears that drunken sailor riff, they're going to sing. They know what's way, coming they next. They know what's coming. It's brilliant. Yeah. So, and, we, we, and we asked him, did he mind us singing it? And he was really happy with the singing. We've Most asked... songwriters are overjoyed yeah. when you want to do their songs, as we are when people have sometimes asked us if they can do ours. And we've also got permission to put it on our next album. So that song, that song is now recorded and will be coming out on the next album, mm. which is it's due called out. The King's Navy. The King's Navy. Sorry. And it's written by Tony Phillips. No, yes, he doesn't. Um, he doesn't really advertise himself. He doesn't try and get gigs outside of his, as far as I know, anyway, uh, outside of his sort of local area. And that makes him one of the most underrated songwriters I know.
sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? We are. We've um, we we originally went when we first started. Obviously, we didn't have a lot of songs, so we put out a sort of a four or five track EP, and then that that sold very easily um, because we we were charging a lot of money for it. And it's small financial commitment. And it was something <laughs> it was something we could give away as well without having to worry. And when we decided we had a few more songs, we thought oh, we'll just make another EP, and we've done that three times. So there's like three samplers we have. But at the moment, we're just working on our first full album which is due out uh, early next year. We're sort of halfway through recording it at the moment. And we're going to pinch three or four songs from the samplers and re-record them because... Um, they sound very different now yes. because uh, the, mm. particularly, I mean, an example is All Inside, which is the title track of our very first EP. It was Ray and I as a duo yeah. and a couple of guest musicians. But now that we've got it in, in four-piece format, there's more harmonies in it. Um, so it's evolved. It's yeah. definitely it's a much fuller song, and I heard a record the original recording the other day and thought, oh, it doesn't sound a bit like that anymore. We'd better re-record that. <laughs> so we're, um, we're actually taking some of those and putting them on the new album. Then we've got we've got half a dozen sort of new songs and a couple of covers yeah. that we're going to do. King's Navy being one of them, and the Kareem Powell song probably King is going Birds. on. The King of Birds. Well, yes, did you know? And then should you explained it last night? I had no idea that that was about St Paul's Cathedral. Mm. It's a very clever song. You have the, the first verse where the fire of London decimates the town and everybody's feeling pretty despondent and Christopher Wren comes in and builds this amazing structure that gives everybody hope. And then the second verse um, is where you have the... that it's, it's about sort of that iconic image of the Blitz and St Paul's kind of standing against the all of the, the flames behind it and then the third verse is about the Occupy movement A gate hell on the cracked and blackened cobbles of the town The ashes fall to rest as the tiny king of birds he flutters down to build a citadel to light glory in the dark and from hell to breathe hope in every heart oh 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 
battle at gate hell Through the siren screams the heavens burn again The city holds its breath As the tiny little king in slumber bed Arises from the dust To light glory in the dark Through the frost To breathe hope in every heart Oh, 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 It's Kareen Polwart's King of Birds but brings to an end this feature with two coats colder. Uh, huge thanks to Ray and to Anna from the band uh, for spending time with me at the Moria Furness Folk Festival where they made a terrific impression. And listening to two of those songs in particular brought back very happy memories of the weekend I spent there in August, particularly uh, the live versions of King's Navy, which we heard, and their own song, 6,000 Miles. Uh, and it's one of those songs that you hear it once, and it's like you've heard it a hundred times before, but you haven't. They've got a knack of producing songs which are almost instantly memorable, and 6,000 Miles is definitely one of those. And just a word of praise, too, to songwriter Tony Phillips for that excellent song, uh, King's Navy, covered there by two coats colder it might be the first time it's ever been recorded and put out there and just a word of caution uh, the version i played of king's navy by two coats colder it's kind of a late demo it's not actually the version i don't think that's going to appear on that album next year uh, so again thanks to ray and anna for sending me um, a kind of a pre-release version of king's navy but that is a very very fine song indeed and it's not the last time you'll be hearing that here on a world of difference uh, nor six thousand miles either. Uh, very good evening to Jacqueline Chambers. Thank you all for listening and Pip the Dog. Uh, if you wondered, and I'm sure you were, I'm sure this is playing on your mind, if you were wondering who the dog was that was barking and playing with the squeaker, it was apparently uh, Pip during the course of that interview. So uh, 
you know, a, every dog deserves his day. This is a world of difference on Trent Sound with me, Roger Williams, here most Monday nights between 7 and 10. Studio at TrentSound.com. Studio at TrentSound.com. If you'd like to get in touch, uh, a fair bit of room for manoeuvre between now and the end of the programme at 10. So if there's an artist you particularly want to hear, I'll do my best to get it on for you. And if not, then maybe do it next week if I possibly can. Let's stick with the whaling theme for the moment. This is a terrific version of Ballina Whalers by Faustus. Fifty-six sailed on board A ship called Byron One She carried taller men on deck And a harpoon and wailing gun And oh, you trawler men Forget your snapper and your brawn For it's out of Ballina We'll sail Fishing for the humpback way Keep a sharp look out, my lads For the whale, he's on the run And we'll drive him in to Byron Bay And shoot him with our guns And all you trawler men Forget your snapper and your brawn For it's out of Ballina we'll sail Fishing Very 
to Ballina we steered We tied up and we start the gear All hands headed for the pub And we filled ourselves with beer That's the excellent Faustus and Ballina Whalers. Alan Morley from Ilkeston has been in touch, and he pointed me in the direction of one of his latest creations, which is just terrific. And let me read the preamble that he's put on Facebook about it. He says, Me and the missus were in the big Tesco store a couple of nights ago, and there was a girl aged about mid-twenties walking out the door, and she was wearing pyjamas, dressing gown, and slippers. Welcome to Ilkeston, as he says, or more properly, in the vernacular. Ilson, this is Alan Morley and going down to Ilson. Tony, son, be careful what you do in life. Don't go down Ilkeston. You'll go down. Went looking for some fun Got on a bus and he had Got off in Elkiston He'll go down Into the rifles and drank some shippers mild. More than I could handle, I was feeling wild. You go down.
curtain My mobile phone was gone No one came to help me I couldn't call my mom You go down You go down You go down You go down Let my story be a warning If you haven't got a chum Stay home and drink some cider Don't go down to Wilkiston You go down I'm sure that's the first time I've heard Ilkeston mentioned in a lyric, and Aina as well. Hina, I think he sang, but sure, it's Aina. Ilson and Aina. <laughs> Great job there from Alan Morley going down to Ilson. I haven't played any Lady, Lady Masery for quite a while. Let's put that right now. This is Factory Girl. Silver 
nice lovely stuff from Union Jill and Witch Hunt. Third and final hour coming up, all kinds of things in it. Jethro Tull, Ironson and Long John Baldry amongst many others. Andrew Cronshaw will take us to news.